just recently, the European Southern Observatory uh, put out a press release about a rather beautiful image of a galaxy. Here it is. There's nothing particularly special about this galaxy. You know, there are many tens of thousands of galaxies of this sort of size out there in the sky. Um, but the reason why they're sort of excited about this one is because they've been studying this image of it and they've come to the conclusion it's pretty much a twin of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. One of the problems in studying our own galaxy is it's very hard to kind of get a perspective as to what it actually looks like because we're stuck in the middle of it and so you sort of can't see the wood for the trees. You really can't tell exactly what's going on on the large scale. And so although in some ways we have by far the best data on the Milky Way than on any other galaxy, um, in other ways we, it, we, we don't actually have an overall very good perspective on it. And so the nice thing about this galaxy is it gives us a kind of a, a, a twin that we can use to say, well, you know, when we want to think about what the large scale structure of our own galaxy might look like, it probably looks something very much like this. So this galaxy uh, has the rather uninspiring name of NGC 6744. Uh, so called because it's in the new general catalogue, uh, which of course isn't very new now. The trouble is whenever you create a new catalogue, you call it the new catalogue, and this one was at the end of the 19th century, so it's not a particularly new catalogue at this point. But it's basically a catalogue of galaxies and other nebulae, um, and so there's about seven or 8,000 objects in there, so it's one of the, just one of the, the 8,000 odd galaxies in that particular catalogue. They've released that picture, they think yep. it's a bit of a twin. What do you think? Is it a good twin? It's pretty good. So. I have a kind of a, a, a hobby interest of actually um, producing sort of three-dimensional images of uh, astronomical objects. And in fact, the first one I did a number of years ago was actually to make a, a model of the Milky Way. And the reason why I do that is because I actually produce these things. So this is, these are these little sort of three-dimensional sculptures of astronomical objects I produce as kind of just a, a, a little hobby thing that I do. The first one I did was of the Milky Way. As I said, it's very hard to actually make a, a, a detailed map of the Milky Way. So what I did was I took all the cutting edge astronomical data that there was about eight or nine years ago and sort of combined it all together to make the best possible picture I could of what I thought the galaxy would look like from the outside. Um, and the bottom line is that this actually ends up looking very much like this galaxy NGC 6744. There's the same bar-like structure in the middle. Even the pattern of the spiral arms is very much the same uh, in this model of the Milky Way as it is in this galaxy NGC 6744. So the, what these, the way these things are made is they're, they're laser cut. So there are actually a few hundred thousand tiny little fractures in the glass here. Does each dot represent a star? No, there's only a few hundred thousand dots in here. Um, and so of course, in order for it to really represent the, the, the Milky Way, you'd have to be up in the billions of dots. Um, but the, the, the density of dots reflects the density of stars. So that there, where there are more dots, it's in proportion to the number of stars that would actually be in that part of the, of the Milky Way. When that new picture came out, recently, did you pull out one of your models and do a bit of a comparison? I absolutely did, yeah. And actually it turns out that the, 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 um, this galaxy rotates in the opposite direction from the Milky Way, which just means you need to look at the Milky Way from the back instead of the front if you want the spiral arms to go around the same way. But if you do that, it really matches up remarkably well. This was actually the, the map I made of the Milky Way when I was putting all these data together. And so this is kind of a face-on view and an edge-on view of the Milky Way using the best possible data to try and figure out what the structure of the galaxy was, how big the bar in the middle was, this rectangular kind of structure in the middle, where the spiral arms are and so on. Um, and the remarkable thing is if you do compare this to this image of NGC 6744, they do end up looking remarkably similar kinds of galaxies. Another kind of similarity with the Milky Way um, is that this galaxy, as a lot of galaxies do, has a companion. Here it is, it's a little faint to see on this particular uh, image. But um, the size and brightness of this uh, companion galaxy, and even its distance away from the, the main galaxy, is very comparable to the large Magellanic Cloud in the Milky Way. Um, so again, it's a, another kind of connection. It's probably not that unusual. As I say, most galaxies have companions, but it's kind of interesting that it comes out with a companion that's so similar to that of the Milky Way. Perhaps the most famous galaxy that we see photos of is Andromeda. Why is Andromeda not a twin of the Milky Way? I always think, I always imagine that's what the Milky Way looks like. Andromeda, the, the problem with Andromeda is because of the way it's oriented, it's fairly close to edge on the way we see it. And so actually it's quite hard to tell exactly what it does look like, what its spiral structure looks like, what it's, whether it has a central bar is still even, for example, a, a matter of some argument. Um, so it could be that the Andromeda galaxy is also very similar to the Milky Way, but just because of the way it's oriented, it's, it's, it's not face on, we just can't see those kind of characteristics, so we can't really make that sort of judgement. We happen to live in the Milky Way. 
Is there still any doubt about the structure of the Milky Way amongst astronomers? Oh, very much so. Um, so just for example, a couple of years ago, somebody published a paper saying that that rectangular thing in the middle of the bar might actually be twice as long as people had thought it was. Um, so it really is very tough to, to, to kind of disentangle what's going on within our own galaxy just because of our location within it. And so actually, it really, you know, even now, there's a lot of kind of discussion as to exactly what the structure of the Milky Way might be.